Hey, uh, great day. Always good to, to get inside of, uh, of the stadium here. And, and uh, first of all, it looks great. And uh, But big day for, uh, for our players and our, our staff. Um, great day, too. We had a, a bunch of families that were here uh, to share in the, uh, the scrimmage and get an opportunity to spend some time with the kids here this afternoon, too, before we come back in the building this evening. I'm excited about them, getting a chance for, for myself and, and our staff to see them as well. So I uh, thought there were a bunch of positives today in, in the scrimmage. Uh, I thought um, played cleaner, uh, both sides of the football, uh, executed. Thought just, you know, alignment, assignment, eyes on keys, uh, being lined up, ready to go on the defensive side of the football, tackling in space. Uh, thought we did a much better job in, in those areas than we did in, in, in the first scrimmage and, and offensively at times. Uh, were efficient and, and played with uh, with great pace and, and handled the communication of it, communication side of it at a really high level too. So, a bunch of positives. I, I know there'll be a bunch of things that we need to clean up too as we go back and watch the tape this afternoon. Questions. We'll start with Jim. Uh, Josh, a couple things. How do you see the left tackle battle going right now? Yeah, uh, it's been back and forth a little bit through training camp. Uh, you guys have heard me say this. At the end of the day, we're going to need. Both of them, all of them. Um, and it just, you know, you, you experienced last year injuries, um, and that's true at the tackle spot. It, it's true on all five spots. Um, those guys are continuing to compete. Um, that's not going to stop after today. That will happen all the way up uh, until kickoff. Anticipate both of them playing uh, during the course of, of the football game throughout the season and certainly in week one. Uh, you know, who gets a majority of that or what the percentage breakdown is, we'll, uh, we'll continue to evaluate as we go through. Both of them have made a bunch of uh, progress from spring ball and, and really since the beginning of train, training camp in, in understanding what we're doing offensively. Uh, in the run game, playing with better pad level, being able to create some, some movement up front. Um, both of them take major strides in, in the pass pro side of it too. So, um, you know, I feel like those guys are continuing to progress as they should. Are they playing well enough to where you think Darnell Wright will stay at right tackle? Yeah, at this point, uh, we, uh, we plan to keep Darnell at the right side. Adam? Yeah, at running back, assuming uh, Jalen is, is ready to go when the season gets here healthy, w would you go three deep? Would you go four deep? You've got two freshmen there that I'm sure both played well. How deep would you go at running back? There are times we play, had to play five last year, right? So everybody's got to be ready uh, to play. Um, as we continue here on the back half of training camp and, and even uh, before we get to game week and game week itself, uh, those guys proving that we can trust them. And that's certainly with the ball in their hands, um, you know, taking care of the football. Uh, it's in understanding what we're doing offensively and, and, you know, delivering blocks and hitting the right holes. A big part of it is understanding pass pro too. Um, and, uh, you know, the two young guys in particular, I think, have grown throughout the course of training camp, you know, just – you know, where their eyes are at and understanding protections and, and uh, being able to handle the football game as it, as it truly gets played out in a live situation. Um, but um, we're going to need a bunch of guys at, at that position. It's just the, the nature of football. It's the nature of that position. It's the nature of playing inside of this league, an extremely physical league. Rob, then Ben. Coach, you talk about trust for the running backs. What, when you talk about depth, the wide receiver, like have, you have a handle on how many of those guys you trust in a game yet? Not yet. Uh, I, I do. I thought there were some real positive things today. Um, you know, Brew McCoy did some really good things out there uh, inside of the stadium. I thought he handled and operated really well. Um, you know, was physical with the ball in his hands. Jimmy Holiday made some plays uh, today, some competitive catches, and then run after the catch. Um, you know, Walker Merrill's a guy that's had a really good training camp, much better football player and understanding of what we're doing. You know, from, from where we ended spring ball, I think he's made strides. And he's done that offensively. He's done it on the special team side of it, too. Um, <clears throat> so there's still a ton of competition. Uh, we've had a couple guys that, you know, have missed a day or two here and there uh, through training camp. This next block uh, will be important to see those guys function and operate um, and handle the totality of what we're doing offensively and, and uh, ultimately prove that they deserve to be on the football field and play. Um, you know, and you know, it's a Jimmy Callaway, it's Squirrel, um, in particular, those two guys. Josh, the, the growth of Joe Milton over the offseason, how have you seen that translate to fall camp, and what have you thought of his first two scrimmages? Thought, thought just, you know, through practices, um, 
you know, he's been a better decision maker, better command of what we're doing offensively, strides that you would hope and, and think he needs to take and, and is capable of. Um, he's taken better care of the football. Um, you know, a lot of things that we've asked from him just, you know, growing up and, and becoming the mature uh, person and player that we need inside of that room and, and, you know, in that position inside of this program, he's taken some of those strides. Um, there's a bunch left uh, out there for him. Um, you guys know he has his arm talent to make uh, some really special throws. Um, but I think in, in all, in the two scrimmages, he's had really good command and presence in, in what we've done. Brent and Wes. Yeah, Josh, not just today, I know you haven't seen the tape, but what's your assessment of your linebacker group and, and how much mm -hmm. Jawan Mitchell's grown from where he was and, and Jeremy and, and that group? And then secondly, do you have an update on Brew McCoy and, and are you starting to get antsy with, with that one, with don't, the window there? Don't have an update uh, on Brew. Um, uh, the linebacker position, um, we are deeper because of, you know, young guys that we've added inside of our program uh, and the health uh, of Jawan and uh, the continued development of the guys that were playing last year um, makes that unit a, a deeper unit. In year two, like a lot of our positions, I do think they have a better understanding of what we're doing defensively. Um, we've been better in our gap fits here, you know, the last four day block. In, in particular, I thought the one defense today, uh, for the most part, did a really good job. Uh, I think they've tackled well. That second level has tackled well here uh, as of late. Um, you know, Jawan being back uh, adds experience, adds playmaking ability. Um, Jeremy's continued to grow. We talked about that. Um, you know, Beasley and Page, those guys have taken major strides in the offseason, too, and, and they've shown that through a majority of training camp. Uh, Josh, a couple things. I wondered if you had an update on Kamal Haddon's status when you think he might be able to get back, and also just the, the cornerback situation in general with all those guys kind of getting back except for Haddon. How's that competition going, and what's the comfort level there? Yeah, I want, I want to see the tape uh, today for me to, to make a comment on, you know, how they played today. Overall, I, I think, um, you know, they've done a better job of, you know, the 50-50 balls down the football uh, field, uh, being calm, not panicking, uh, playing the football and, and, and the wide receiver. Um, you know, they've done a good job in their fits and some of our pressures and things that we've done. Um, Kamal, I anticipate uh, being able to, to get some reps here uh, over the next four-day block. Uh, it'll be good to see him back on the field for us. He's handled himself in a really mature way uh, while he's been nicked up and hasn't been able to, to be on the field. Uh, been purposeful in, in the way he's approached meetings, practice, um, you know, essentially has a plan of, of uh, coaching guys up during the course of, uh, of the, uh, the practice. So uh, I think his engagement has allowed him to continue to grow. Obviously, you want those real reps and, and anticipate being able to get those uh, this next block uh, with him. Warren Burrell's had a really steady, good camp. Um, you know, Rucker uh, coming back healthy. I uh, feel like he's you know, playing his best football right now as well. There's a ton of competition uh, right there um, at that position. And, and that's, you know, some young guys that have gotten here, guys that have, you know, been around this program for a couple years too. So uh, excited to see that continue to play out. And, and uh, obviously I want to see the tape uh, today from those guys too. Austin and Eric. Two things. So we talked to Jalen Hyatt and Walker Merrill the other day. And, and Jalen specifically talked about, you know, all the praise and the preseason is great. But, you got to prove it on the field. Then Walker talked about, you know, I'm just tired of not playing. I want to, I, I want to, you know, he's motivated to, to get on the field. When you hear that kind of competitiveness and mentality, you know, what's that mean to you as a coach? And, and what do you like about that type of mindset? Yeah, that's the truth, though, right? Jalen's comment about and preseason stuff doesn't matter, whether that's rankings or, or praise of, of players, whatever. Uh, at the end of the day, we all got to go prove it, and, and game day's approaching for us. So I, I like the mentality that, um, you know, he's going to be purposeful in the way he approaches it, and, and our team will be too. I really believe that. You know, for Walker, uh, those are two great examples uh, of guys that since we've gotten back from, from bowl game and really even before that, just like <clears throat> this is where I'm at. You know, this is where I got to get to. Having a plan of how I'm going to do that every single day. Those those guys are are pros in the way that they've approached every day in the building. Man, they're competitive. They understand the plan. They have a personal plan of how they want to continue to grow. They're extra uh, every single day, 
it showed up in the competitiveness in which they've played. And, and that's with the ball in their hands. Uh, it's in one-on-ones. It's with the ball not in their hands and, and the way that they're blocking out on the perimeter. One of the things today offensively I thought was just, you know, our perimeter screen game, uh, you know, which is really an extension of the run game. The effectiveness, uh, efficiency of that uh, was really good to see. Those two guys had a big part in it today. Secondly, you're kind of right there in the, you know, a little bit past the midpoint of fall camp where guys can hit a wall and you got to push through and those type of things. Do you and the staff try to do anything to, you know, change? I saw you do the punt thing with Elijah. Do you do anything to kind of change it up to let them have a little bit of fun to where they, you know, can kind of push through that stuff? Yeah, we try to do something uh, fun every single day when we're out on the field. I think creating competitive situations is extremely important in that. It raises the, the level of urgency and focus out on the practice field. So we, we pick different situations every single day. Um, you know, our team meeting uh, has structure to it, but there's, there's things that are different every day. And, and uh, you know, last night, um, you know, we've been in a, a pretty good routine here of what we're doing every day. Um, you know, felt like giving them a little bit of a mental break potentially if they were able to catch the football. Elijah's the hero, as you guys could all see. Um, you know, but uh, doing something fun to, to keep guys engaged. That, that's true during training camp. I think it's true during the season, too. And, and uh, um, so uh, you guys know around here we try to compete really hard, but we have a heck of a lot of fun doing it, too. And, and uh, last night's a great example of it. Uh, today being different, you know, being in the stadium for the scrimmage, families being there, you know, the afternoon is going to play out differently for them too. And, and uh, so we try to keep them fresh, physically ready to compete while straining them, making sure that we're playing ourselves into the shape that we need to uh, to be ready to go play. Uh, but you can do all those things and have a heck of a lot of fun uh, doing it. I know you'll need to go back and check the tape, but kind of initial thoughts, line play today, both offensively, defensively, uh, how would you kind of assess that today? And um, there, there's so many and so many different groups. Um, I thought we fit uh, fit things, front seven, uh, safety fits too, and in the run game with the one defense uh, better than we did in the first scrimmage. So that, that's one takeaway. Uh, I think in some of the situational football, um, you know, the one offensive line did a really good job of creating movement, um, you know, third and shorts, um, goal line situations. Uh, there were some real positive things there too. Uh, Going to have to go back. You know, there were a few sacks uh, early in the scrimmage for the ones that uh, um, go back and look at and just make sure we're all um, not just losing a battle, right, which is going to happen, but our, our communication is right too. So there's going to be a bunch of things to, to learn from. Overall, really uh, excited about energy, effort, uh, attention to uh, detail once the whistle blows, getting their eyes back, getting lined up, and, and getting cleats on the ground, eyes in the right place, ready to go play. Coach, what's changed about the way you evaluate these scrimmages or things you pay attention to compared to last year? I mean, a year ago, just so different. Um, it's the first time that we've gone through any of it together, right? As an entire program, staff and players. And uh, you don't take anything for granted in year two, but there's an understanding of the expectations and how we're going to play. Um, def you know, defensively in particular, but both sides of football much deeper in, in who we are and, and uh, you know, just the, the number of players that we have inside of our program, right? And uh, uh, you guys have heard me talk about that before. How you evaluate it, man, I, I don't know that that changes a whole lot, right? Every position coach is going to watch every player, every single play, right? Alignment, assignment, technique, effort, strain, you know, play to the whistle. Those are the things, man. We want to play harder for longer inside of our program, and then uh, we got to protect the ball when you got it and go get it uh, defensively. Um, you know, offensively, the last four day block, they've done a great job of taking care of the football. We got to create more turnovers on the defensive side of the ball. But, you know, how we, how we grade it, it doesn't change. Um, the expectations, standards inside of our room, you know, they haven't changed inside of this building. Now, the perception of us outside the building has changed, um, but uh, what we believe we have the opportunity to do. Um, because of the work that we put into it, there's great confidence inside this building. We'll finish with you. Uh, could you update us on Elijah Simmons, his situation? Yeah, uh, I think he'll uh, have an opportunity to, to participate here this next four-day block, just kind of a freak deal, and, and um, don't think it's a long-term uh, injury for him that uh, will inhibit him anyway as we get to the season, but uh, uh, we got to get him back full, fully ready to go. How much is that setting back? I, we'll see when we get back. He's been in great spirits. Um, you know, he said he's feeling really good. Uh, we'll figure out here as we get back on the grass here in a couple of days. All right. Thank you.
you do. Thanks, guys.